Hey everyone, this is Anthony Reeves and welcome to another edition of In The Know. Today I want to talk about why am I bitter about what it took for me to finance my college education. When I see a lot of the kids today, my heart goes out to them because I know what it means when you're sitting here looking at universities and thinking, okay, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay for this thing. But today it takes on even a greater challenge because today the kids have to pay for such a greater expense that I didn't have to face. So where I had to go to school and it only cost me maybe 30 to $40,000 a year to go through four years, these kids are looking at about 100,000. So it puts me into this headspace to say, man, I'm really angry because what the heck is going on? So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people out there and I know there's people who've asked me, why are you so bitter about it? I, and I have to stop them. I'm not bitter about my college experience. I'm bitter about the, the financial aspects of it. And you say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, here's a few things that you should think of, in particular, five things that you need to think of. One, nobody really gives you any tips to find money. Think about that for a second. You're again turning this over to 17, 18, 19 year old people to have the maturity to be able to ask people how to do this, but they don't. All we know, at that particular time, when you're at that age, you're only focusing on going to school, going to class and things of that nature. You're not thinking about all those other aspects. You haven't even been educated about those other aspects. So if you don't have adults or advisors or people around you who are going to say, you should look here or think about this or go do that, guess what? You don't know. So then you're left to your own devices to try to figure out how the heck you got money or how the heck you're going to get money. Which brings me to what ends up happening. If you've gone through your first year and you are in a position where you're struggling financially already, guess what? You know right out the gate, you need to find some money. And what normally happens? You go home for the summer, if you're lucky, and you're looking for a summer job. And let's just be clear. The summer job is not to enhance your corporate abilities. If you are smart enough to do that, I give you kudos. No, summer breaks and summer work is to get you summer funds to pay for the school year. I went and spent a whole summer washing dishes in a restaurant. Now, I had a great time, got a little discount on food. You know, when I was working there, you know, I could eat the food for free or I could come back and get a discount because it was a great restaurant because I worked for Chili's. But the reality is, is that I was only there solely so that I could build up money to take care of paying expenses for the fall and the spring. Now, I was lucky because I had two grandmothers who helped me get a lot of those supplies, but I still was focusing on making sure I had money to make sustain me in the fall and sustain me through the spring because I wasn't working in the winter break. So here we are. In May, we get out for the school year. We're done until late August. So I get home and I get about a week or so. And then the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking for a job. And then I was lucky because I found a job within a couple of weeks after looking. And this job would be my summer job for the next two summers. It was the same routine. Come back, get a job, make that money. And that money wasn't going towards paying for things or partying or doing anything like that. No, stockpiling. I needed that money because I needed that money to make to last me for the school year. Which then brings me to the third one, college work study. Back then, college work study made an impact. But guess what? Nobody told me about college work study. Like I thought it was great. I didn't find out about college work study, if I remember correctly, until my junior year. And I no, I take that back, my sophomore year, because when I got back, I remember going to financial aid to, to check on certain things. And I remember one of the advisors said, you know you're eligible for college work study? And she looks at me like, why didn't you know this? And I'm thinking, how the hell would I know this if you don't tell me or if no one tells me? So she's looking at me and she's like, nobody told you? Why did anybody tell you? And back then you're like, oh, because again, how old am I? I'm 19. I don't know anything. Hell, I just left my mama's house a year ago. So why would I know about college work study? But it made an impact once I got it. But the simple fact of the matter is, is nobody told me about it. I could have easily had college work study my freshman year, but nobody told me until my sophomore year. 
So now we're in a situation where nobody's really giving you any tips to find money. Your summer breaks you're using to make money. You're getting to college work study and somebody tells you about it, which then brings me to my fourth point. This thing that blew my mind. What the hell is residency? And for those of you who are like, what do you mean by residency? Remember, when you go to school, you're categorized in one or two categories, out of state or in state. It doesn't matter whether you're a private student or a private school or at a public school. The tuitions are different if you're out of state, in state. I, when I got to Tampa, Florida, I never went back home except for the breaks. Went home and I came back. Even when I graduated, I went home for a couple of weeks, went to some training and came back. I stayed in Florida and never changed my residency until like a, almost a year after I graduated. Imagine how much money I would have been able to save had somebody said, are you intending to return to Arkansas or is this where you're going to be? I didn't know a whole lot. I didn't know what my final degree was going to be. I didn't know if I was going to go into medical school. But let me tell you what I did know. I knew I wasn't going back to Arkansas. And so if someone would have said, you know, if you go, to, if you change your residency to Florida, it would reduce your tuition burden, which means the money that you're getting in aid, you don't necessarily need as much. Nobody told me that. They left all that information out. And so again, we're at the situation where, what, what have we gone through so far? Nobody's given me any tips about finding money. That's one. I'm using my summer breaks to make money for some, from summer works. Two, I finally get connected with college work study when somebody tells me. Three, I didn't learn about what the hell residency is about. And then comes the other thing, these ancillary expenses that you don't think about as well. Like, what do you do if you live in the middle of nowhere? You still have to get back and forth. Again, people keep forgetting the fact, and I have to keep reminding people that, hey, I grew up in a rural state. I was in a rural town with a single mother. So getting back and forth was a crucial thing to me in terms of finances. I did not live in a state with an international airport. Little Rock Airport was the largest airport close by, and I tell people even to this day, it is cheaper to fly from Philly to Florida or DC to Florida or New York to Florida than it is to fly into Little Rock, Arkansas. It's just ridiculous because of how expensive it is. So for me, riding the bus made economic sense. Not because you know my mom couldn't put me on a plane, but it just made sense because considering in my mind I was paying for everything, that made logical sense to me. But how many kids are in that situation today where they're not only freaking out about the fact that school is so expensive, they're out of state, they're trying to figure out how to pay for it all, and not only on top of that, how the hell are they going to get there? So I need you to understand, I loved my experience in college. I loved all my experiences in college because we're grad school, law school, and I kind of learned a lot, but just, we're, gonna, we're focusing right now on undergraduate. Really enjoyed it but my finan the financing of it, a little bitter about it. Why? Because there were so many things I did not know. There were so many things people didn't tell me that I didn't know to ask. And now that I finally do know, and I'm sharing it with future generations, I'm not even sure if it would work today. So when I go back to whether or not college is losing its value, I again reaffirm, because it is.